just wanted to make a quick video today to talk about peep sight tires. Um, there's two main styles uh, or different ways you can tie on your peep. So there's this method here, which hopefully you can see. Um, basically, we've got the peep serving tied around the peep itself and two bits of serving above and below the peep. The other common method people will use is where they wrap. You'll see it kind of spiral around either side of the peep where they start the serving at the top spiral it around, around the middle, around the other side, and I'll put a picture up of that um, as well, just to show you, because I don't have a phone in front of me that's got that. Couple of kind of misconceptions about this style of tying. A lot of people think if you tie it in this way, it will move. It's very, very hard to move it. Um, so all my target bows, my hunting bows, and all the bows we set up in the store are tied in this way. And what we also like to do is put a little Sharpie mark above and below the peep tie-in. So if I grab this peep, I can shift it. If I push pretty hard, I can move it just like a little bit up and down the string. And that's the way I've traveled with bows for a long time. So all my compounds that have flown into state or internationally in cases, I've never ever had one move on me. And if it did, I always have those Sharpie marks to move it back to. The advantage of this style of peep tie-in versus your wraparound kind of spiral style is that if you're hunting or shooting field or even shooting target and you get somewhere different, for instance, like if you're shooting at a higher altitude or lower altitude, um, to give you an example, when I was shooting recurve um, a few years ago in 2012, we were shooting in a ski resort in Europe. And when I got there, I think I was only shooting like high 30s, low 40s um, in draw weight. And my 60 meter sight setting, I was shooting high one because the air, um, with the altitude was so much higher that my arrow flight was obviously different. And so all my sight settings had changed. Now in a recurve, you have to kind of go through and get all your sights again. With a compound, you have the advantage of just bumping this peep up or down a couple of mil on the string. You're not gonna notice that when you're shooting. Um, you're really not gonna see it as you pull back and you're looking through your peep. But what it will give you is it might move all those sight settings down a little bit or up a little bit to compensate rather than you having to go through and do your entire sight tape again. Now, depending on your type of sight, like on some of the HHAs, um, on the Hogfather, a few different styles, you can move your actual slider and you can move that up and down to compensate. But on most bows, especially if you've just got a basic three pin or five pin sight, if you get to the place where you're camping to go hunting or you're going for a field shoot and you've only got half an hour to kind of get your sight styled in, Having the ability to bump this peep up or down that tiny little bit with this style of tying is really, really useful, especially depending on the distance you're shooting to. Um, so with target bows, if I'm shooting 18 meters, I'll run my peep sight in a different position than what I would be if I was outside shooting 70 meters or 90 meters as well. And if I've wrapped my peep with that tie all the way around in that spiral fashion, I've got to rip it off completely, move it down, tie it all up again. And it means if I've adjusted it from say 18 to, 50 to 70 meters and it's not quite there, I've then got to undo it completely, bump it up a bit, tie it in again before I shoot. So that's why this style of peep tie, in my opinion, is a lot more versatile and it still will not move. Um, so that's one of the common you know, misconceptions, like I was saying with the style of peep, is that if you don't tie in that spiral fashion that it can move, very, very unlikely. And it just gives you a lot more options um, yeah, to kind of adjust your peep from there. So I hope that clears up uh, a few kind of ideas around peep tie-ins and ultimately pros and cons of each side, it's whichever one's gonna work for you, but I'd say 90% of the time, this is gonna be your easiest and your most versatile way to tie in your peep. And if you want some more instructions about how to do that peep tie, we've got an earlier video as well that will show you how to, um, how to tie in your peep site and how to tie knocking points as well.